In one of our previous videos, we paid a lot of attention to the uh, equation of the parabola and its graph. We discussed how these a, b, and c coefficients uh, influence its location on the coordinate plate and shape. And we've been asked to tell more about this b coefficient. So this is what we're going to do. So we can recall that, in general, a parabola can be described by a quadratic function of the following form a times x squared plus b times x plus c. c is a free term in this equation. It is also known as the y-intercept, a point where the parabola crosses the y-axis. It only influences the movement of the parabola along the y-axis, so let's set it to zero. Remember that if a coefficient is a positive number, the branches of the parabolas open up, and if it's a negative number, they are opened down. So, again, to simplify our consideration, let us set a to the values of positive and negative 1. So, a being equal to positive 1 stands for the case of all the positive numbers, positive a's, and a being equal to negative 1 states, stays for the opposite case. So let's move to our top left corner. And here we have a set to the value of 1. And b set to the values of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here we have four parabolas. All of them are opened up, obviously because a is a positive number. The red one in the middle is described by an equation x squared plus 1 times x, so 1 is for b. Then there is this blue one described by an equation x squared plus 2x, then the black one x squared plus 3x, and the whitest one, the green one, x squared plus 4 times x. We can see that with a and b being positive numbers and b increasing, the vertex of the parabola moves downwards and to the left. We may also, also recall that the x-coordinate of the uh, vertex of the parabola is calculated by uh, dividing negative b by 2a. Okay. Um, next case, moving down. We now have, we still have a equal to 1. But this time we have b set to the values of negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So again, we have four parabolas, all of them being directed upwards. Um, the red one in the middle, the smallest one, is described by an equation x squared minus 1 times x. And the widest green one is x squared minus 4x. We can see that with positive a and negative b, and with the absolute value of b increasing, the vertex of the parabola moves downwards and to the right. Moving on to the top right corner. This time we have a set to the value of negative 1, which means that the branches of the parabola will be directed downwards. And b is set to the values 1, 2, 3 and 4. Again, we have four parabolas directed downwards, the smallest red one being uh, described by an equation negative x squared plus 1 times x, and the widest green one is negative x squared plus 4 times x. So we can see with, uh, that with the negative a, positive b, and b increasing, the vertex of the parabola moves upwards and to the right. And the last case, here we have a and b both set to negative values a is equal to negative 1, and b is set to the values negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Again, four parabolas directed downwards, just as we have, just, we, just as we had in the previous case. Um, the smallest one in the middle, the red one, is described by an equation negative x squared minus 1 times x, and the widest green one is negative x squared minus 4 times x. 
So we can see that with negative a and b numbers and with the absolute value of b increasing, the vertex of the parabola moves upwards and to the left. So this is how this b coefficient influence, influences the location and the shape of the parabola.